Hello everyone, welcome to the first system test of the new Zyton ZP2 Valum system. Uh, as you can see, I've got the small cabinet version, you can get the one without the non small cabinet version. Also, as you can see, it's installed on a demo board, so this is a demonstration board, so for demonstration purposes only of the Farlam system. So yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna basically show you all the devices and then um, show you guys the panel and yeah we'll test a couple of devices so yeah I'm going to go ahead and show the devices to start with so as you can see they're all pulling away as you can see you can see all the devices pulling uh, see if you can see it a second there you go they all pull together which is quite, which is really nice so yeah uh, kind of what devices underneath the panel so the panel is on the very top and the device underneath so I'm going to basically show you guys the devices. So, the first device we have uh, is a Zyton ZP2. Now, I'm not sure if I know that, I don't remember the model number, so I'll put them on the screen. I might actually be able to take these off the base and show you, so I'll do that. And also, I'll put it on the screen. So, yeah, uh, this one here, we've got a Zyton Optical Smoke Detector ZP30, ZP730 2. There you go, as you can see, and then uh, over here we have the uh, dill switches to set the address for the detector. So, yeah, all of them have dill switches. So, yeah, and we have a sounder base, which is a ZP755B-2. Seven, uh, seven, uh, uh, so, that's the sounder base. So, there we go. So, I'll put this back on. Yeah, it's just moaning about the uh, taking device off, so uh, shut up. There we go. So hopefully that's cleared. It should sort itself out. Might uh, give it a reset in a second, so I'll do that. So, yeah. Um, these are all uh, ZP730s. So, uh, apart from this one, which is a... I'll show you guys this one. This one is... An ionization one, so this one is a ZP710 2, and uh, yeah, you can tell it's ionization because of the radioactive sign. So, and you can also tell by inside the chamber that it's ionization. So, yeah, there's a ter there's the base by the way, terminals uh, you wire your two positives to one terminal, uh, one um, terminal on here, and then the other one, you two negative. So, yeah. So let's get this back on, and then we've got another optical. So we've got four opticals and one ionization. And over here we have a Zyton call point. I'm not. I don't uh, really remember these uh, the model number. So I'll make sure to put a, a model number. And then at the very bottom here we have a, a Zyton sounder. Uh, I don't remember which one this one is. So I'll try and see if we can take this one off. So there we go. This one is the um, ZP55, ZP755 HAV2P, and that's the sounder base for it. So, yeah, that's the sounder base, and this clips on, this sound clips on. Uh, it's got a beacon on it as well, so, which I have been um, having problems with. Uh, if I can get this back on, I'm not sure it's on. It's a bit fiddly to do. Uh, I think that's on. That should be on, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. I'm going to give some research and hopefully it should be fine. Yeah, I'd say one disadvantage about this panel is that it takes a really long time to, like, you know, do your reset, you reset your system. Uh, it takes a very long time. Shut up takes a very long time when you start the panel up, when I turn the panel on uh, it takes like a couple of minutes or so to actually boot up compared to the other addressable panels that I've have ha that I've had in the past such as the SeaTech and the SMS Sentry which uh, haven't taken very long to turn on so yeah as you can see this is the uh, this is a, a logo that has already been on this panel because this is a used panel which I got from uh, eBay so I've got this for a very cheap price on eBay uh, this site on ZP2 panel, it's already got a uh, logo on it, uh, whoever had this panel before. 
yeah by the way there's no batteries it says battery disconnected because there's no batteries in this panel I'm, I'm not sure if I'll get any batteries to put in this panel because I don't think uh, I will because it's only demonstration so yeah yes yeah, so I've got this panel quite cheap on eBay for a good price so yeah that's why I brought it um, so yeah uh, and then also got these devices for a good price too got these fire detectors for a uh, good price um, for five of them there was supposed to be an optical one but they give me an ionization one as well so I've got four opticals that got sent to me and an ionization one so yeah Th this ionization one may get replaced in the future for a heat detector or a uh, multi-sensor so this one might not be staying staying for long so yeah and also got these cool point for a good price to an eBay and this sound as well so yeah I'm not sure, I haven't, I've been having problems with the sound like I said, so uh, for some reason the beacon is not flashing now, I'm not sure uh, if it's somewhere in the panel to turn the beacon, to make the beacon flash or if we need the uh, PC, the software, uh, PC software for it to flash, so if anyone can let me know how you can, how you make the beacon turn on, then let me know, because I think all that's sounding is the sound of bass, but the beacon's not flashing or anything. I'm not sure if the this sound is supposed to go off as well. I'm not not too sure, but yeah. Uh, if anyone can let me know how you can make the beacon flash, uh, let me know because the only thing that is working is the sounder sound a bit. So yeah. Anyway, let's. Uh, uh, now I'm going to show you guys the main menu. So yeah, uh, as because you only got one fault because of the batteries. So. Yeah, if we go to press, we press F4, which is main menu. I'm currently logged in into the installer section of the panel. And as you can see, you've got a whole bunch of options here. So if we use the this jog dial button, um, I think it's called. So yeah, we can access, uh, press different stuff. So also, I haven't really set the, the time and date on this panel. Uh, it's in 2021. So probably by the next system test I'll have it all organised and yeah I'll set the date and time correctly but I just wanted to put out a quick test and showcase this panel so yeah I haven't really explored much of the menus or anything on the panel but yeah. So yeah field setup, in the field setup we've got the auto setup, loop device config which I haven't um, put these into correct zones or anything I think these all are in zone 1. But I haven't um, actually played around with the sensitivity or the um, zones or if they're, if they're going to day or night mode. So hopefully by the next system test I will have sorted all this out. So yeah, so zone, config, zone configuration, set the devices into individual zones, uh, inputs, outputs. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it for field setup. So if I go back and then panel setup. Uh, like I said, date and time and day and night mode will be sorted next test. Uh, ID configure, I'm not sure what some of these do. I will play around with this, uh, hopefully. Other settings, so let's uh, press this one. I haven't pressed this one yet. 24 volts, uh, aux config, fault notification buzzer, resound sounders, and device LEDs. I'm not sure what this one is. I think you can, might, I think you can disable the LEDs. Of the devices polling, so that would be kind of cool. But I think I will um, keep the devices polling because yeah, they look kind of nice polling together. So uh, yeah. So let's go back to the panel setup. I think it's come out of the self test config, and yeah, some other stuff as well. Kind of cool stuff there. So. Yeah, I will play around with this hopefully and then, yeah. So, uh, I think that's basically getting load and save config. You can save change and stuff to the panel. Uh, I'm not sure what the printer config do. I think there might be a printer in this. Uh, system update, expansion boards. Uh, disable enable, so disabling devices, sound and stuff like that. Uh, the test here, I think this is for the walk test, test mode. 
reports alarm counter password setup. So the alarm counter is currently at 15. So yeah, I can't really change anything to the alarm counter. I think this is just a default thing. So yeah, uh, I think that's basically it. So there is other modes of this panel. You can do operator, uh, customer mode, and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll probably showcase more of this stuff in the future. But yeah, for now, I'm going to uh, start testing devices. So I think we will uh, start with the call point. So I'm going to go and get my test keys, uh, Casey call point key, so and a smoke saber. But yeah, uh, I think these two sounders are on the lowest volume I can get them at. Um, I'm not too sure if they, if they are both at lowest volume, but. I believe they are from when I changed them before. So, uh, yeah, let's go and to, uh, test with uh, start with the call point, I think, and then we'll test the ionization detector, which is this one here. So, yeah, this call point has the uh, glass element in it. It doesn't have a plastic element, so we need to use the key because it's got a glass element in it. So, uh, yeah, apart from that, uh, also you can have different tones in the sounder. Two, t you can have two tones. Um, which are the two-tone or the continuous. Now, when I first uh, uh, test the sounders, it wasn't continuous. Then I changed the deal switch switches to do uh, two-tone. So yeah, the both of these sounders are on two-tone. So yeah, but I'm not too sure if the uh, how to activate the beacon is on the deal switches. But yeah, if anyone can let me know how you can turn the beacon on, let me know. But when I test the the sound, when I test the system, you won't see the beacon flashing. So yeah, I'm not sure if I, if I replace the sounder anyway and just put a detector on it instead if it's not gonna work. But if it if I can get this to work, then if anyone can let me know, then that'd be good. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with the call point. And get my test keys and yeah, here we go. There we go. Uh, we've kind of got a good tone hold there, which is kind of nice. I do really like the sound, the sound the Zyton sounders make. They do sound really good. So, as you can see, obviously it's not labelled up or much stuff, but yeah, it's in uh, zone one. Uh, that's the device address, I think. Uh, device seven, uh, zone one. So, yeah. As you can see, yeah, there's the alarm light, fault, disable, test, supply. And obviously we've got supply fault because of the batteries, and earth fault, low battery system fault, so. And then sound to start, stop, panel silence and reset, so. And this panel has 24 zones, so, yeah. Anyway, so that's uh, reset. Uh, we'll start polling quickly because it's been activated, so now we can go ahead and press reset. And it takes uh, a minute to um, reset. And then we'll go ahead and activate the detector, the ionization detector. So, there we go. So, yeah, I'm not sure if, I, if I'll add, add a logo on here or anything, but this is like a logo that's already been on this panel uh, before I had this panel, so because it's a used panel. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll change it or anything, but yeah. And I'm not sure if these are address cards as well or something on the top of these detectors because. Obviously, I've got these detectors used for a cheap price on eBay. I'm not sure these are the dresses or when these were made. I'm not sure, you know, what these cards are because I can't seem to remove them or anything off there. If they are to indicate uh, where they were in the building, because these came from a site. These are lot these detectors, so I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go and activate the ionization. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. So let's go ahead and activate this. I'm not sure if any of the other detectors will trigger, but. Let's hope uh, this one goes off. That should do it.
was partially disconnected. Uh, fault came back up again. Right, let's try again. That should do it. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's taking it uh, ages because of the day and night mode. Because I'm not sure if it's on uh, night mode at the moment, but night mode at the moment because it's on default. So it might be at lowest or something. I'm not sure. Come on. There we go, it finally activated. So, yeah, I believe this detector activated, so it's hard to tell if it's actually activated. Because it could be one of the it could be one of the others, but yeah, let's just go ahead and just blow this out anyway. Okay, I'm going to try that. There we go. Hopefully that'll be fine. Let's reset it. If it go, if anything goes off again, I'll just um, let the system sit for a bit. But hopefully this should be good enough. So there you go. It's resetting. And yeah. That's basically going to be it for system test one of the Zyton. There we go. Okay, I think one of these detectors did activate again. So, yeah, I was going to let it sit for a bit because it's going to uh, re trigger. But, yeah, that's going to be it for system test one of the Zyton ZP2 system. Hope you guys enjoyed the system test. Uh, I think this one was a bit of a long one, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I think we'll test some more devices, devices in the next video. And hopefully, in a few in future tests, I'll hopefully get get a heat detector or a multi sensor or something like that to add on or change. So yeah, but apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you next time for system test two. So I hope you guys enjoyed and. Goodbye everyone and like and comment subscribe on the videos. So goodbye.